So now let's come uh, straight on into studying a uh, document and text search. And we use a couple of um, existing classes on the web, which I think are really excellent. And we uh, take uh, slides, and a lot of the slides from those two sources. Each source is documented. Every slide, if I take it from somewhere else, I miss I where it came from. So here we have um, a slide from Technion in, in Israel. And it basically makes it uh, clear what the challenge is. We um, have to go and find lots of lots of documents, billions of documents on the web. We have to answer a number, a number of questions per day. And you have to do it in whatever it is, a tenth of a second. Or else the user will um, get unhappy. Or if you're doing this for a particular contractor, that contractor will take this, take uh, his search, uh, his or her search um, contract and give it to another search vendor. Users do not ex tend to have very complicated queries. The advantage of that is the good queries are quicker to process. On the other hand, the bad thing about that is it is quite hard to get very restrictive answers. So that's why when you issue a small query to Google or Bing or something, they give you lots and lots of responses. And this you have to get, this is quite important, the most relevant. And uh, these slides will actually discuss what is meant by relevant, because it's not quite so obvious what relevant means, because it really was what the user wants. And quite what they want is not always clear from the uh, simple query. And the blink of an eye is a tenth of a second. So here is a little more detail on the static web. Remember the web has these various features. It has um, the actual pages. It has lots of information stored in databases, which are only revealed when you query the database. That's sometimes called the deep web or the hidden web. And uh, this changes, here's an estimate that a page only lasts a few months. Um, we have each of those uh, pages is consists of a set of words. And the estimate here is 10 to 100 million words. You have all sorts of information, text, pictures, audio, video, JavaScript, and what have you. And the quality, of course, varies from truly wonderful, such as some of the best Wikipedia articles, to really total nonsense. And all this stuff is done in many languages. There are lots of duplication. and um, that's the actual syntactically the same. Then you can get things that syntactically different, but actually mean the same thing. And there's a very complex topology. If you look at the graph, you get by taking one page, linking it to another, and and um, which the, which is sort of the basic graph of the web. You um, you get the structure which we'll describe on a later slide, and of course a lot of the um, Web pages are junk and need to be somehow filtered out. Here's the so called bow tie structure. Uh, this is a reasonably old article, but I don't think it's changed drastically. It comes from looking at the, um, the, the um, this actually comes from 2000. Um, it can sort of divide the web into a core part of closely connected parts. Um, you have the um, uh, input side and the output side, which sort of stretch out. They have little things going out, so called dendrites. And then there's lots of little isolated, disconnected things with no links to anything else. And um, that's a sort of classic structure, and one needs to, I mean, whatever algorithm one has has to cope with this particular structure. Here is, a, well, I mean, if you look at many things in life, there's a pile of, so here's the number of pages versus the number of links in, into the page. And here is a number of pages, number of output links, and um, 
You can see they fall off exponentially with an exponent, which is around two. And um, that again is quite old data, but I doubt if it's changed drastically. So this just points out that um, the number of links to the page falls off quite rapidly. But there is a non-trivial number with a um, high number of links. I should point out that here we actually define in and out in a way you can go into the page, out of the page, which is pointed to by other pages. So you go out to a page and you come into a page. Those are in and out links. So here we point out again that um, that you have a pretty small number of words. A word is here a term. A term is a sort of more precise version of a word after you've cleaned up the word and made it in sort of canonical standard form. And sometimes you misspell a term when you go to a search engine. It will often uh, express doubt, at least about my spelling, and suggest a different query. Usually, a different query is indeed better than the one, than what I actually intended. There is a fancy query syntax allowing you to do ands and ors, but most people do not use that query syntax, and uh, it's actually not terribly well documented on the web on the user interface, presumably because they find that uh, as they're coping with the you know the optimizing for the largest number of people, that the largest number of people don't want to do uh, complicated queries and will get confused. Well. Rather not be even told about the possibility. Um, and uh, this just points out that although we are optimizing for the sort of average person, there's huge variation in what people expect and the quality of their client, whether they're going to scream if they have to browse through 10 pages of search results to find the right answer, and so on. There's a growing importance, of course, of mobile. Uh, both um, tablet and uh, smartphone, and one would actually one needs to optimize uh, for the different client platforms, even with the same person feeding in the data. Um, here's a comment on how many people actually look at the many many pages that the search engines uh, give you back, and according to this note, here, only 85% look at a single screen. Um, and most of the queries are not changed. They just take what they are, what they give, and if they don't give what they want, they don't get, um, go, don't get it, and they don't go, they don't uh, re requery. So this sort of, sort of rather negative statement that we're not actually doing much work when we query the web. 